everyone, I'm back. So I have almost finished my tension blow dry. I thought, okay, let me do this whole show and tell thing and just show you the last section. I'm spritzing it lightly with water. So this is here that was an African threading. The indentation as you see is where the thread was. I just misted the hair lightly with water. I'm working the water through the section. And I take my blow dryer and left with my old blow dryer. set at medium high and I concentrate on the roots pulling the roots taut because that's where most of my tangles occur when when it's in the threading and then what I do is I unravel the hair and as I'm working through it the shed hair is coming out and I slowly unravel the section not slowly just gently and meticulously work my hand through it shed hair is coming out i put that into my shed hair jar and i keep going and i come back with a blow dryer and i blow dry the remaining uh, section mention is that my hair was fairly detangled to begin with. Before my hair went into the African threading, it had been straight and detangled. I washed it and then let it air dry. Now I'm going through and, and basically um, unraveling the, the threaded sections, fluffing the hair out, separating the hair, um, I'm not talk, talking about heat training. I'm just saying that the hair was already straight. All that happened was that it reverted this way inside the threads. So this is what everything is looking like right now. I guess I could tilt the camera up a little bit. Right? And it's already reverting. So, and it's looking thick simply because I brought it over my shoulders. this back. That's the section I was showing previously. That's my natural waist. I mean, I don't feel like my neck is stretched out to its full, you know, potential, but I'm, I'm kind of around waist, but I'm definitely lower than my bra strap. Anyway, I'll come back once I've gone through everything with a hot comb. So, what I'm going to do next is heat up my hot comb and go through each section. Again, I'm straightening my hair because I'm at four years. I want to show the length that I have managed to retain in four years. And also because I'm going to be putting my hair away for another two or three weeks. So I thought, let me record the process and show it to you guys. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.